Hello, this is the second part of my video about the rotate track function. Now I'm going to incorporate the arpeggiator to create a more complex pattern. So now I can even incorporate drums or a bass line or a synth line. So I'm going to set it, I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so first of all, you will need to check out my first video about the how to set up the rotate track function. Now, you will need to, for example, in this particular uh, example, I put a kick drum on track one and the snare on track three. And two and four are gonna be my melodic patterns. So in this case, um, a bass line. So, First, you will go and assign um, the kick on number one. And also, a very cool trick is that you have two oscillators. And also, in oscillator one, you will have the noise option. So, increase the level on your noise even with the kick so you will have a sound that it, it gets the kick and the hi-hat all right so even you can um, assign or or adjust with the fader option here how how tight you want your your, your hi hat? You can even tighten it up a little bit more, even more and more. I'm gonna open it a little bit more to make it as a hi hat. You know. So you're gonna do the same on your channel two. Even though that it has the bass, you will assign your noise to add that, that hi-hat sound. So go to your, your noise level, turn it on a little bit more and tight this, this, this noise sound until you get your similar uh, hi-hat. And then you go to track number three. Also, it's gonna be the snare and the hi-hat there. And that's a weird snare, but just for example purposes. And then you will have your track number four with another bass and another noise, tight noise. Okay, so go to your kit. Or your uh, polyphonic configuration and then the allocation change it to rotate now you have the hi-hat and this the other sound you assign on each on each uh, track so now it's rotating but what you now need to do is go to your arpeggiator and turn it on, for example, up. And then you can be tweaking your velocity, your, um, your speed, your range, whatever feels better for your, for your musical idea. In this case, I'm just gonna 
you said a normal A and just uh, range one. can increase the range to get something more cool or different. Okay, so that's how you can create um, patterns, interesting patterns using the rotate um, track function with the arpeggiator and also combining sounds in each track. Okay, so that's all for now. Keep having fun with your electron analog instruments.